Hello, this is Sal. Today we will be talking about iOS, IPS, Intrusion Prevention System. We have here on the network three routers, and uh, all the routers, uh, the interfaces are configured with the IP addresses showing in the, top, uh, in the diagram here. Now we have PCB on this side, can ping the PC on this network, 0.92.168.1.0. Nine two one six eight dot one dot two the IP address and now PCA on this side of the network is able to ping this PC here. Now on, on PT the routers already have the signature files imported and in place. They are the default XML files and flash. For this reason, it's not necessary to configure the public crypto key and complete a manual import of the signature file. Now, we will create an iOS IPS configuration directory in Flash, and we will be doing this using the command make directory, and we'll name the directory IPS DIR. Enable, make directory, sorry, make DIR and we'll name it I IPS DIR. Confirm it. Now show flash and it's showing here the directory we just created. Now we will configure the IPS signature storage location to be the directory we have just created. Configure terminal IP IPS configure location and the location is the the flash IPS DIR. Now exit here. Let's see what we did. So flash and as you can see the directory we created on flash on router one next uh, we will create an ips rule name using the ip ips name and we will name the ips rule ios ips configure terminal ip ips name and we'll give it a name of ios ips now it's time to enable the logging as the ios ips supports the use of syslog to send events configuration syslog notification is enabled by default and if logging console is enabled ips syslog messages displays let's check syslog and enable it if it's not enabled on another one ip ips notify log now also let's uh, enable the timestamp service if it's not enabled but we will just uh, do it service timestamp log date time millisecond and let's check the time we need to fix it clock set and the time now is 9 20 uh, February 10th 2019 oh sorry about that February So 
four o'clock and we have the time is done also we need to send the log messages to the sys syslog server with this command configure terminal logging uh, host and our host here in this example is this server the syslog server of 192.168.1.15 now time to continue configure ios ips to use the signature category we will retire the all signature category with the command retire the true and and retire the ios ips basic category with the retired false command on router one configure terminal ip ips signature category category all retire we have to uh, now we want to retire them all so we will say true exit category ios ips and this is the basic retired false oh sorry about that retired false exit and another exit and we confirm here and as you can see we have 288 signatures, 6 out of 13 engines. Okay. Now we will apply the IPS rule to an interface with the IP IPS rule command in interface configuration mode. We'll apply the rule outbound on this side here on the gig 000 interface of router 1. And after we enable the IPS, some log messages will be sent to the console line indicating that the IPS engine are being initialized. At a side note, the direction N means that the IPS inspects only traffic going into the interface. Similarly, out means the IPS inspects only traffic going out of the interface. Now on router one, interface gig zero 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 IP IPS, and we named the the secret, the rule IOS IPS, and these are the messages. All engine build complete, elapsed time 8 seconds. Now, we will change the event action of a signature. We will unretire the echo request signature, the signature number 2004, and the sub-signature ID 0, and enable it, and change the signature action to alert and drop. Exit here. Now, IP, IPS, signature, signature, definition, definition, now, signature, we said it's 2004, and the sub ID value of zero for the ICMP. Status retired true. No, for this is retired false. Sorry. Enabled. Exit. 
exit from here. Now we will go in on the engine. Engine event action. Produce alert. And also for event action, deny packet inline. Deny packet inline. Now we want to exit three times. Exit, exit, and another exit. And we confirm here. Now let us use the command show IP IPS all. Exit from here. Show IP IPS all. And here is telling us total active signature uh, one, which is uh, what we configured. And it's showing IPS category, command line interface configuration, all retired true. For iOS, IPS basic, retired false. Now, let's uh, send a, a ping from PCA to PCB. Ping on the IP address of 192.168.3.2. And we are able to ping from PCA to PCB. Let's see if we can ping from here. Ping 192.168.1.2. Now here, let's verify that IPS is working properly by pinging PCA from PCB and the other way. Now the ping from PCB here to PCA, it failed. That's because the IPS rule for event action of an echo request was set to deny packet inline. But from PCA to, BC, to PCB, the ping should be successful. This is because the IPS rule does not cover echo reply. I'll send a ping again from PCA to PCB and it was successful and from PCB to PCA it will fail because of the configure the IPS configuration we set on this uh, network I hope uh, that's it for today I hope uh, you learned something from this video and please if you like it uh, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumb up thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon next video have a nice day